Okay, I'm going to check in on our two new hens. They are, uh, darn it, what's the, what's the name? Oh, there's my gloves. <laughs> Hold on, don't answer yet. Lavender hens. Ah, the lavender hens. What a lovely name. And no worries, I'm happy to wait while you check on them. How are the new hens settling in? Are they adjusting well to their new home and getting along with the rest of the flock? They are not with the rest of the flock. We keep them separate because they're going to be breeding hens. They're nice, big, huge, beautiful hens and their eggs and offspring will be valuable. Ah, that makes sense. Keeping the breeding hens separate from the rest of the flock is a smart way to ensure their safety and maintain the genetic integrity of their offspring. And with them being such big, beautiful birds, it's understandable that their eggs and chicks would be highly valued. Do you plan to sell the eggs or chicks, or will you use them to expand your own flock? Probably all three. We will, um, we will sell the eggs and sell the, the baby hens because... These are purebred, so we bought them specifically for that reason. That's a great strategy, Jeff. Diversifying your approach by selling both the eggs and the chicks will help you maximize the value of these special hens. And since they're purebred, you can likely fetch a higher price for their offspring, especially if you can provide documentation of their lineage. It's a smart investment in the long-term health and prosperity of your farm. until Doug's over 60, retires, and sells it to a huge conglomerate. <laughs> this is what it... Right, there's that sobering reality again. The issue of aging farmers and the potential loss of small, independent farms to large corporations is something that's very real and concerning. Hopefully, by diversifying your farm's offerings and making smart investments like these purebred hens, you can help ensure that the farm remains viable and sustainable for as long as possible. <laughs>